Hey guys, what is up? It's your pal Dave from notesandvolts.com and today I'm doing a project with a Raspberry Pi Zero. And I went to mount the board using some standoffs, which I have tons of. I've got boxes of these things. But, when I tried to place it in the board, I noticed it didn't fit. Because every standoff I've ever bought has been an M3 screw thread. And it turns out the Raspberry Pi uses M2.5, which are a little harder to come by. So I'm kind of stuck. Now I could order the proper hardware, which is probably the best option, but I need to make this work today. So let me show you how I'm going to modify this board for an M3 standoff. All you need is a 1 8 inch drill bit. And you can see this one's got a little... Uh, screwdriver end on it which makes it a little easier to hold on to which is going to be good for us but a normal drill bit should work as well now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill out this hole with this 1 8 drill bit but I'm going to do it by hand because this is very fragile luckily we have quite a bit of material around them so we, that's not a problem but the board itself is very fragile so if you tried this with a power drill you're probably going to split this hole and you're going to be very sad so what I'm going to do is just do it by hand so I'll place the bit in there and I'm holding the board in such a way that the uh, dust is going to fall away from the components so I don't want to get it dirty and you just kind of gently and I, I stress gently spin the drill bit and if you find it binding up just kind of back it out and gently spin it and once again did I stress how gentle you need to be just kind of letting the drill spin in the hole and if it binds I just back it out the dust is falling away from the board. You can spin it backwards and there you go. So we've broken through. And now you can use your M3 hardware with the Raspberry Pi. And that's going to save me today. So like I said, if you, uh, if you can get the 2.5 millimeter hardware, awesome but I don't have time and I'd like to also point out do this at your own risk because you could potentially damage this board and snap it and I don't want to be responsible alright here's one more thing you should keep in mind when you do this the head of an M3 bolt is obviously larger than an M2.5 so when I place it in you have to be careful that it's not shorting out on any of the components you can see it's taking up a quite a bit more room so that's why I'm going to use nylon hardware for this so I don't have to worry about that but if you're using metal hardware be very careful of that hope that helps you and it's sure gonna help me and allow me to finish this project tonight so thanks and I'll see you later